Hello and welcome to Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today my colleague Mackenzie Mills will be showing us how to create a map book in Global Mapper. All right, Mackenzie, take it away. All right, so the creation of map books from Global Mapper is done through the Map Layout Editor. This is a way to create a multi-page um, layout for printing or export to PDF or an image format where you can break your data down into more manageable chunks instead of only getting the overview of the larger area. So to start this process, I've got an area of wilderness here with some trails and mountain summits, and I wanna create a map for this area. I already have a first page of my map drafted in the Map Layout Editor, and this has been saved with the workspace. And bringing that up, we see the whole Pemigewasset Wilderness area, as well as the trails and summits. To make a map book in this case, I'm going to choose to use a tiled map book and break this area into discrete tiles for different pages. Up from the Map Layout Editor toolbar, we have the option to create a map book. We're going to continue using the current layout we have defined in the map layout editor, but note that there is an option to use a saved template if you'd like an alternative layout for some pages of your map book. And then we'll set up the tiling, so how Global Mapper is going to break this general data overview into some smaller sections for different pages of a book. We'll choose to have three rows of tiles for this data area, and we'll set a little bit of overlap between them. So I'm going to set 10% overlap just so our pages don't completely cut off at the edges. We'll stick with the default tile naming, although this can be customized, and move over to the Export Bounds tab. So this is the area that I want to break into some smaller tiles. I'm going to set this by drawing a box and simply draw a rough box to bound the wilderness area that we're interested in here. With that set, I can click OK, and Global Mapper generates the pages of my map book. We still have that first page that I had set up previously, but then we have the index page showing the outline or footprint of all the subsequent pages that show the data in a little more detail. Moving to each page of the map book, we see the same data layers represented, but at a zoomed in view, and they all fit together to create the larger area. So creating a tiled map book this way is a great way to uniformly break up a data area into some smaller chunks for representation in a map. Um, but there is another way you can create a map book in Global Mapper. And that is creating a feature map book. To do that, I'm going to bring up a second data workspace here where we have the state of Maine with the counties shown by population and then outlines for all the towns. We also have labels for all the towns shown right now, so it's looking a little chaotic to begin with, but we can clean that up. Again, I'm going to open the map layout editor as a start to making this map book, and I have my first page designed here already. And this time I'm making a feature map book, so I need to choose which features to focus on. Since a feature map book, instead of un uniformly breaking up the area into tiles, focuses on specific selected features for each page that is created. Moving the layout editor out of the way for the moment, I'm going to open the attribute editor for my counties layer here and find my population field. I'm simply going to sort this numerically and find the counties with the top three population values. Selecting those, they're selected in the attribute editor and closing that, we can see they're selected in the main view as well. This selection does not reflect in the map layout editor, um, but we can use these selected features to create our feature map book. Again, from the map layout editor toolbar, click to create the feature map book this time. And again, we have options to select the template to use. Moving over to the feature options tab, um, by default, this is going to use those selected feature. We can set a buffer around the edge of the features just to give us a little wiggle room in our map display. And then we have options to customize the layers that are shown. Clicking OK from that dialog, we get our three new map book pages based on the selected features in the main view. Now that these pages are created, we can deselect 
the features in the main view and it does not alter the pages in the map layout editor. We can continue working with our data, but we now have three pages, one focused on Cumberland County, one on York and one on Penobscot County. These layers, these pages can be further customized. Um, like in our first page, maybe we want to remove all those town labels. I can right click on the page in this list, go to select layers and remove that label layer. This cleans up our visualization for the first page. We have our index again, and then our subsequent pages at a higher zoom level, we'll keep those town labels in there. So that's two ways that you can really effectively and quickly create a map book and global mapper to get a data overview, as well as some additional pages that focus on specific regions of your data set. Mackenzie, thank you so much for walking us through that workflow. I think our users will find it very interesting. To learn more about Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, please visit bluemarblegeo.com today. And as always, thank you for joining us for this episode of Ask the Experts, and we hope that you'll join us for our next episode.